So, it's back to work in the chateau and obviously we've got everyone over at the minute so we're really ploughing on with the work. We've got Abba who's starting with the curtains, Rob's still cracking on with the panelling. I'm obviously jumping between all of the jobs. Asha's still cracking on in the bedroom doing the um, taping and jointing to get that sorted so we can get the first coat of paint on there. And Mum's busy just getting the chateau tidied so we've just had a big party for our friends and we've got our Patreon day and the um, charity opening day for Jonathan's school coming up so they're just getting the interior tidy and set up for that so it's all hands on deck and then my auntie is painting the windows on the back of the chateau so I've already had a coat but they just need the frames doing and the final coat just to seal them all in so they're all looking nice and fresh so we'll go in now, have a quick walk around and then see what everyone's up to, show you the progress and then I'll be able to crack on with some work and show you what I'm up to. So, Mum's busy cleaning aren't you Mum? Yes, a big party. <laughs> cleaning after the big party. <laughs> so we're just setting up, like I said, for the Patreon day, we're getting a thing done for that. So, Abba's in the salon, getting the curtains sorted aren't you? Yes, I'm just measuring up for some new curtains for the 400 bedroom. So I need some extra weights of fabric to make it look extra big, extra luxurious. So I'm just measuring some extra fabric just to make sure everything is correct. Correct, yep. And the fabric is absolutely beautiful. So this, this is the back and the front will be yeah. this green gold. Colour. It's lovely because yeah. in different light it looks like green, blue. Now it looks blue, but yeah. if you see it up in a, in a certain light, it will look green with copper in there, and it's absolutely beautiful. It really works well on yeah. the sewing machine as well. Yeah. So yeah, let's It'll see good. what we can make of it. Yeah. I we'll might pinch some though. <laughs> you might have some missing. Missing. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll let you crack on with yeah, that. Thank you. And I'll go and see what everyone else is up to. So, like I said, Mum's busy getting all of the um, rooms sorted. So, so, they're just done with the dining room, getting that tidied and getting all the furniture laid out. And then we'll go upstairs and see what everyone's up to up there. Next, I think Rob's carrying on with the panelling in the salon which is sorted and then I'm on with getting the curtain pulls. So. Hello Rob. Hey Terry. You alright? Oh yeah doing fine finishing up the uh, last of this of the uh, panelling. Panelling well, yeah. Yeah I'll squeeze past and show you. So Rob's just on with the doorway now. Yeah finishing the set. It's looking brilliant. And clear for a nice coat of stain. Yeah, 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 and get it on. So, all of that's almost sorted. Once that's done, I need to start doing some work on the ceiling and doing some decorative mouldings on the ceiling. So, that's going to be a bit of a task. And then I've got curtain poles. So, I need to get this one up for the hallway, ready for the hallway curtains. And I need to get one up in the salon. Which that one's here. Uh, and I've got nice finial tops. That'll be my job. And then Ash is busy. Oh. You alright? Yeah. yeah. How's it looking? Good. Looking really good. I'm quite happy with it. Just need to go in and get the rest of the plastering finished off. I've got the roof still to sand and plaster, but no, otherwise it's looking really good. Yeah. That's brilliant. And then we can get the coven up, which has just come. So that'll be good. And it's it's brilliant to be honest, the coven, isn't it? Yeah, I'll lovely. come this side. Oh, yeah, it's the lovely. coven's lovely and it's a lot bigger than I expected to be honest, which is a good thing. Just gonna hide all that pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously we'll have that going all the way around the room. It's quite nice and decorative, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. You've got some paint to do there. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even intricately paint it Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Paint all the details. So That's we'll be actually two weeks. Yeah, just to do that. Yeah. 
and then you have to do all of the wall moldings as yeah. well. So yeah, so carry on. I'll let you crack on. Thank you. I'm gonna crack on with the um, the curtain poles. So I need to go and cut this one down. I just took the end off. So you just take the pin out and that can move. I'll cut it down and then pop that back in. And then we can get it up. So I will crack on now. So, I was busy with the curtains for the bedroom, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's, uh, it's two sets, or one set for the bedroom anyway. Yeah. And it's made of, well, this bluish, greenish, yellow, gold fabric. And it takes, for one curtain, it takes about seven meters of lining and top fabric. fabric. And what yeah. I'm doing at the moment is, after I've turn it inside out, I have to turn it back on itself so everything is shown. So to make sure that it doesn't sag or doesn't do anything, I'll just seam on the side just to make sure that there is enough strength to hold, um, to hold the fabric in place before I 
cut and measure the top and bottom and make sure that everything uh, matches. Matches. Uh, matches. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's like that's the whole thing. You need to make sure that the pattern matches each curtain and it will be one continuous line. Yeah. It can be like a few millimeters difference, but you want to have it as as straight as possible. Yeah. And these uh, seams just like here what I've done is because the width of the fabric of the front was wider than the one on the back mm -hmm. we decided on making a piece that folds over on itself so you have something to grab onto Probably. yeah and the main fabric will just ever so slightly show on the back as well and just it's it's just a decorative border yeah, it, it is really good. Like These are the old curtains that we got from the house in Allenson. And the one thing that I liked was the way it folded over. Yeah. And then. And it's also like a protective um, piece because there is, these are going to be used quite a lot, of, yeah. obviously, during the, uh, during the season um, in opening and closing. And just, you know, having some extra protection. I also am leaving some uh, fabric on the inside. So if there's like a small thing that needs to be repaired, you can just open it up and you can find, oh, look, uh, I still need like a bit. You can take it out and just mm. put it Not in sure. there. Yeah. Just make sure that, uh, that there's always something in the reserve. There is plenty of, uh, obviously, but if you need to buy a new one, color might not match correctly and then you'll be well, yeah, stuck. yeah. The fabric is you can't really get the true color and cabinet no it's it's a grayish green yeah I think Gr sea foam would be the best description yeah and and with gold gold um, on it is stunning and it's really a classical piece you could use it either way you could use it either this way or use it on on, on yeah on that you way. can do it on the, the reverse of the work, yeah. using it the blue and gold but, that way. Yeah, but you can use it, indeed, you can use the other side as well. Yeah. Because it has a more greenish tinge, mm -hmm. but it's, it's still really beautiful either way. And this was, um, Karen Allen found this for us from America. So thank you so much because honestly, I absolutely love it. And I think with the brown backing, um, I, I think the brown backing. It works backing, really well. Yeah. yeah. We've got, I had my doubts though. Yeah. You did with the green as well, so yeah, yeah, Abba's, the green as well. Yeah, so I've just got all of the ones done in the 400 salon. So we've got the crushed velvet and the brown um, backing with them, and he's done the same with the tape on. And then we've got some trim to go with them as well, haven't we? I think I've yeah, got well, here. it's not in, but yeah. Um, the best we can. So this is a trim similar to what we're gonna have. Well, I've had order this from America as well. Um, and then I think with it. So what we'll do, or what I have to do, hand sew this on like so. Yeah. So the one that we've got is not as yellowy gold as this. It's a lot more bronzy. It's bronze, yeah. and it will look like this in a finished. Yeah, I product. think it'll be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Be very nice. And then the same with the green ones. The green ones will be exactly the same. They will also have the same trim. Yeah. And it will also be on the side just to set it off a bit. Yeah. This is, of course, is the wrong color because you can see how yellow it is against the green. Yeah. But it will be done on the same. Also, I need to be hand stitched on and it will look like, well, a pair of theater curtains, I think. That's the best way to describe them. Yeah. In the end. Well, we need a bit of theater in the bedroom yeah, in the course. salon. If, <laughs> of course. Well, who doesn't like theater? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you crack on. Yeah, and I'll go you. and crack on as well. Yes. See you in a bit. See you. Bye-bye.
So just cracking on upstairs and Abba shouted me down because the curtains for the 400 bedroom are all complete and he wanted me to come down to have a look and make sure obviously that we're happy with them and we like them and the work that he's done is absolutely amazing on them. Um, they're just perfect, perfect for the, the room, the colour, the style, everything. Um, I'm just absolutely over the moon with them. So I'm so excited to get them up to see what they're gonna like, see obviously how they're gonna sit in the room and hopefully they'll all fit as well. I know they will, obviously, because Abba's a perfectionist with them. So we'll get these up. He's just done with doing the last ones for the 400 hallway. I think he's done the ones for the salon. And then we're just waiting for the trim to come. So the curtains, I've had to wrap around my, like, my neck and coming down because they're so long. I think these are three and a half metres, the length of these curtains. And I'm sure we made them about a metre and a half wide. Might be longer, to be honest. Uh, wider, sorry. Just so we've got enough gather for the plates and just so they're going to swag down quite nice. So, yeah. We'll get them up now. We'll get into the 400 bedroom and see how they look. So that's the curtains up and they're looking absolutely amazing. 
Obviously, I've just put the tie backs on temporarily at the minute. So when we do actually get them up properly, we'll um, screw them all in. But they're just hooked on at the moment just to, to give us an idea of what they're going to look like with the tie backs on and stuff. And they work brilliant. Obviously, I've only just picked these up as well. And they're going to go perfect in this room, perfect style, and they're nice and I think decorative as well. So it just gives it a little bit more elegance. And the colours with the curtains and the gold on them is just brilliant. It's quite hard to actually pick the colour up in here because obviously we've got all of the light from the, the south side of the chateau. So having the curtains up, trying to get the the actual colour of them with the contrast, it's it's really dark. But in situ, they're just amazing. So I'm really pleased. All I'll need is some tie backs. I said pick these ones up from Emeos. They're just a like a soft blue because that was the colour that we were originally going to go with. Um, and they're all right, they go okay, but I think if I get some like deeper gold ones or this sort of French green, um, if I can get some that colour, then I think they'll work really well. But yeah, really pleased. Obviously we've got the first pair of curtains up, but also I've been busy. I've got the curtain poles up in the hallway and in the salon for the 400 suite as well. So I'll show you those now. Curtain pulls up for the one in the 400 salon and it's brilliant. Obviously it's, I managed to get some um, curtain pole like holders rather than putting the big pins right the way in. So I managed to use them instead because otherwise it just would have been a bit of a hassle getting it all sorted. But they've worked on both sides and we've got the pull card as well. So we can open and close them, which is good. So that's all sorted. And they've worked well as well because we were worried that when guests open the windows, obviously they're beautiful to look out of. But when you open them, it is a big drop right the way down. So we've set the curtain pole there so we can put some stoppers on so the wind is already going to open so far, which is a good thing because you won't ever really need them open fully anyway, and we don't really want them properly open. So it's worked well with that one. And then this one, we're just getting the window painted to seal it all in. And that'll be the same as well on that one. So yeah, it's worked well, except we will have some stoppers on the top. So it's not hitting the curtain pole, it just stops on the stoppers. So it'll probably stop about there. And except then that'll stop any sort of danger because they'll only open that far, which is good. And then if people want to as well, with these locking mechanisms, they're good because they just latch over like that. And then you can keep them a far open just to let the air in and they don't swing open and closed. So yeah, it's good with those cremones. And then we can just close them over. So that's a win-win. And also, I've been busy in here, so I'm just on with doing all of the decorative mouldings for the ceiling. So I'll be showing you that in our next video, because that's been a bit of a headache with that. So it's been another fun week. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I see it's Getting to the exciting part now because we're starting to see some of the colours and soft furnishings and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's amazing. And with the wonderful help of Abba and Rob, you see it's really starting to come together. So, I can't do curtains. Oh, I can't I do curtains. I can't do sanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's good that we've got like 
a mixture now of everyone that are doing different yeah. different jobs. It's brilliant. That they're sort of good at as well. Yeah. We're at a point where you can start to envisage what the rooms are going to look like. We're just getting to that nice point now, so that nice stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And just seeing how amazing the curtains look yeah. up as well. Mm -hmm. It is just amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. So, yeah. Yeah. In the next few months it'll be done. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 By September the room will be done, at least in the hallway. Yeah, it will. It will. A few more just jobs will be there. Yeah. yeah. No more big jobs though, is there? It's all um, fiddly jobs now. Yeah, it's Ones just like all the... aren't there? It's just more decorating now yeah. with it all. The only mm -hmm. other big parts to do is lift in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we need to get in there and start moving ahead with that, getting the shower train. Um, and working out all of that. We have to lift the floor up just so we can check all the plumbing and readjust it slightly because mm -hmm. we're getting the shower in. Mm -hmm. And once that's out of the way, it is literally just decorating. Okay. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's it good. Paint to go on. The bedroom's oh. nearly done. <laughs> well, yeah, the bedroom's all sanded and taped and joined. There's yeah. one more course and we should be there. Yeah, and the coven's just arrived, which the coven's oh, amazing. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. you'll have some fun yeah. watching the videos with that one because Terry's going to paint it. Yeah, yeah, I have to pay it every is, bit. But it is beautiful. Yeah, it will be worth it to get the sort of style and effect that we want. Yeah. It will be amazing. Mm -hmm. And by the time you watch us today, we'll have had our fun day. We'll have had our quiz day for the school. Yeah. So yeah. we've got our first part, which is the um, charity quiz. That's today. Yeah, yeah, it's afternoon. Yeah, so that's obviously going on today. And then on Sunday, we have got the open day, mm -hmm. charity day as but well. It's like for the school and the community, isn't it, that one? Yeah. So a lot of parents from school and the kids, a bit more like of a fun day for kids as yeah. well. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. That's just barbecue and drinks and lots of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But like I said it really is starting to come together now. Yeah. I'm just so pleased with the fabric and everything else. It's good. But for yeah. now, we better get on with some work. We better. Go on then, and we will see you on Friday. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribed and make sure you've got the bell clicked so you don't miss any notifications. Make sure you've checked us out on Facebook and Instagram as well because we do post lots on there and you'll see little bits in between what we're doing and, and bits of what's coming up as well. Yeah. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.